it's kind of interesting. Uh, <clears throat> since I'm now working with another French horn player, who's a female, I feel like that's attracted a little bit of attention. I've joined several French horn groups on Facebook, and they've been running some different um, promotions and stuff. And anyway, I've gotten at least one or more, not really a hateful comment, but from French horn players, they're trying to tell me that the strength that I've been kind of demonstrating in this instrument doesn't really transfer over to other brass instruments. And uh, one guy explained how the French horn is a whole different concept, a whole different approach, and that the strength here, when you bring it over the French horn, you're just not going to be able to do that on French horns. And uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, and then I had another trumpet player say that um, when they heard Rhonda buzz up to her high D, I guess, and they said that uh, any any trumpet player could do that. So I'm just addressing that. First of all, no, not any trumpet player can actually do that. That's number one. And number two, as far as um, chops, here's my feeling about that. Chops is chops. That's it. Um, you got chops or you don't got chops. So just to kind of prove that point, um, I, I used to have a French horn and I, I got rid of it a long time ago when I was in San Francisco. Just too expensive to store it and I wasn't using it all the time. So I ran out and got me a nice little brand new French horn mouthpiece. For the people in the Facebook French horn groups that are maybe following what's going on, I just want to let you know, uh, there's a lot more road for you to travel when it comes to this than you think. And it has nothing to do with French horn. It has something to do with chops. So if I were to play a French horn C, and um, I'm guessing that would be a a concert, uh, wouldn't that be concert F? So if I play that, I can get that on the horn. I can buzz that on, on down here, which would be in the, this would be in the staff, right? A C. Okay. Uh, now, the high C on French horn, right? But I'm doing on the mouthpiece. Remember, this is actually harder than playing the horn. Make sure I'm still on target. Pretty close. That was the double C on the mouthpiece. I just hit a triple G on your French horn mouthpiece, okay? And I'm here to tell you that most professional top-of-the-line French horn players in any symphony around the world are not going to be able to do that, okay? Chops is chop. I don't even play French horn. This feels out of my comfort zone for me. I'm playing this guy. So French horn players, I want to let you know one thing. Chops is chops is chops. Tuba or trombone or baritone or euphonium or cornet, doesn't matter, trumpet. Um, you got you either got chops or you don't, okay? And you can't make excuses for it. So don't think that just because some trumpet player can play some high notes on their trumpet, that, they act that actually is monkey business, and when they go to French horn, they're going to fall flat on their face. If someone has chops as a brass musician, they have chops, and they can demonstrate that on other brass instruments. So, let's make sure that wasn't a fluke. Let me, let me just try that one more time. And, and you are aware of this is no hokey pokey business. It's a French horn mouthpiece. Not a, not a trumpet mouthpiece, or that's French horn. Brand new. I'm not messing around here. No trick photography here. French horn mouthpiece. In fact, it's probably not even a great mouthpiece that most pros would want to play on. I'm probably playing on some little dorky 
eighth grade beginning French horn mouthpiece. So that's even making things even harder. So we'll put down the, uh, we'll play the um, concert F. I'll buzz it again. Let you listen to it. Okay, that's a high C for you guys, right? That's your double C, right? It's a little higher. Triple G, I think it was a little bit flat. I still got it. Triple G, baby, on French horn. And this is probably some student French horn mouthpiece. So remember, as you're going through and watching what's going on with me, especially when it relates to other brass instruments, chops is chops. The strength and the technique and what's going on here and coming from here compressed works for all brass instruments. You, yes, you do have to twist your approach a little bit for each instrument because they're not the same instrument. But you still blow into a hunk of metal that you must vibrate that goes into a metal, uh, another piece of hunk of metal that has a bunch of tubing. So I'm Kurt Thompson, and I hope you enjoyed that in, on the French horn mouthpiece. Adios, my friends. Hi, I'm Kurt Thompson at TrumpetSizzle.com and here on YouTube, you're a brass instructor. I'm a professional trumpet player and teacher, and I want to ask you a question. Would you like to learn how to skyrocket your range, improve your endurance, and reduce mouthpiece pressure? At the very least, you should discover that improving range and endurance is a process. It is not one book you're going to read, not one ebook, it's not one lesson you're going to take with a celebrity trumpet player. It is a process that you will have to go through. If you're willing to go through this process, I can almost guarantee that you will get fantastic results on this instrument or any brass instrument. And for right now, I would just like for you to subscribe to my channel. Look down below and click the subscribe link. I would love to have you as a subscriber on my channel, Your Brass Instructor. I'm Kurt Thompson. I'll see you in the next one.